So this is a, an annual event that we hold where we invite members of the public into uh, the Stone Yard to look at the work that we're actually doing here. So at the moment we're, we're uh, speaking in the Stone Yard itself where the Masons work on, uh, on the carvings uh, and the creation of the stone that will ultimately go onto the Minster and replace the weathered and uh, corroded uh, stone that comes off. We interpret the original uh, grotesque, so as you can see they're incredibly weathered, but you get an appreciation of what was there originally, so it's a little bit of recreation but then infilling the dots using uh, the stonemason's creativity and their own interpretation. So we can only do it so much based on what little stone is left. So th this is one of the grotesques that came off that went up in the 19th century restoration, so which is now very weathered and uh, corroded. And and then we'll create a, a new grotesque to go up carved out of very similar limestone. So at the moment we're working on one of the um, pinnacles which depicts the story of King Solomon. So King Solomon and his wives um, and then some other um, grotesques uh, depicting various beasts and, and animals. We want to pass on to future generations a better, a better building. So, um, and of course the structural integrity of the stone itself, it's fundamental that that's replaced. A choir project that we're working on at the moment, um, which members of the public will be visiting today, is an 11 year restoration programme. So each um, window will take approximately a year um, to um, put the stone back in and, and, and replace the various pieces of um, architecture that we're working on. You're never ever going to be on top of this, so um, we're, it's like the fourth bridge, so we'll, we'll finish the south choir aisle, then we'll move round to the north choir aisle and um, just keep going round and round the building. So It's amazing for everybody here to be involved in, in, in the building and be part of its history, but when you see some of the craftsmanship that we have here at our disposal and the work that they produce, it's, it's quite breathtaking. I'm one of the stonemasons here at the Minster, been here for six years now, originally came here for the big restoration job on the east front and uh, we're now moving around the corner onto the south side of the building and starting an 11 year programme of work there. This particular stone is one of the many stones which go to make up one of the pinnacles and the pinnacle is a, is a, is a waste bearing exercise really that counteracts the thrust of the vaulting inside the building but they're all covered in these decorative details which we call crockets. So this is one of probably about 20 stones which go to make up the pinnacle which we're carving at the moment. So it's very big down here but once it's actually up on the building it, it just vanishes into the fabric and gets, just gets lost in the scale of the place. Uh, this particular piece of stone, the masonry side of things which is getting all of the flat surfaces and the geometry and the carving blocks established, that's been a month's work and it'll be another three works to get all of the carving and all of the, the leaf work done on this particular stone. So not much change out of two months for the, for the one stone. To the fine detail here, you working down to these, these small chisels and even small files to, to get the final rubbed finish and the very fine detail. So you start off with quite big chunky tools to knock the big corners off and then you, you work progressively down through the tool kit until you get to that final finish. It's not just preserving what was built in the Middle Ages, it's all those subsequent generations of people who've worked and given as well that you're, you're part of that cycle and that, that legacy. That's, and that's very, very satisfying and it's a privileged position to be in. I think we're all very aware of how lucky we are to get to do this kind of work and to be able to do all of it by hand as well. And very little has changed, the tools are all very similar. We might have a little bit of tungsten on the tips of the chisels, but that's really the, the only fundamental difference in the working methods from how it was done originally. It's genuine job satisfaction, absolutely, yeah. I mean, you've got something that's definitely going to outlast me by a very long way. So hopefully yeah, nobody's going to need to go up there for another 150 to 200 years to, to work on this pinnacle again.